All right, it's been a minute since I uh, have done a video. Got waffles with me. He and I are going to walk down the stream. I want to check this beaver dam that I discovered last weekend while I was down here. So um, I figured this would be a good time to make a video because I don't think I've ever made a video about the creek really except for you know I've done some videos down here just to screw it around um, but yeah let's do a video of the creek come on buddy waffles come come check out waffles he's my good boys he's gonna go on a trek so what I'm gonna do is flip you guys around These are some old bottles that I found in the creek. Some stuff that's just a washed up. But as you see, I got some pretty cool fern action that's growing around. Um, this thing does get pretty deep. It got all the way up to here during the uh, Hurricane Michael storms and um, actually washed a bunch of my uh, trees down the uh, creek that I had over there, like well out of the, the water at this point. They were just kind of sitting there um, near the, uh, the wet soil. And yeah, the creek ate them, they disappeared. I couldn't find them. I found some plants that washed down the creek, but not many of them. So this right here, goes all the way down to Muckley Creek. Um, this is actually called Nine Mile Branch. This guy right here that we're in. And uh, Waffles loves plays and all up and down this creek. Come on, buddy. Got some killer fern actions. Um, I've actually cleared a good bit along this way here because I have aspirations of putting a dam across here and just filling it up, you know, about yay high, about like what Hurricane Michael surged at and um, keep it at that point. That way I have a little bit more water to play in up to this point and it's actually gonna make me some free electricity. Um, but sure enough, Hold some water. This all used to be underwater at one point in time because um, the beavers had all this dammed up. Um, probably 20 years ago when I was growing up playing down here in these creeks, they were a lot higher. They were actually um, beaver ponds. So the ducks would fly in here and you get some pretty awesome wood duck action. Evidently, gators got back here, ate all my beavers, and essentially, there went all the beaver dams. So, I'm a little bit excited. Most people are like, oh no, not beavers. But I'm stoked that I found some beaver dam action back in here. Oh, there's a little fish. He's swimming away. Let's sit here and check this out for a moment. You can actually see quite a bit of water moving. It's a pretty tranquil scene if you ask me. waffles over there now the cool thing is I've got both sides of this creek so areas like this you know I can clean out one day plant more oops, plant more goodies in here and I'll probably leave all of these monster trees all these big poplars and oaks and pines that are in here but little stuff like this like this gum tree and you know other little things that aren't essentially um, cool trees like this one I'll probably keep I want to keep any kind of birch trees 
Um, I want to keep any huge trees. I want to keep any abnormal and gnarly shaped trees. But see like this guy, abnormal and oddly shaped. He's just, it was essentially two of them that look like they've merged together and kind of intertwined. I like that kind of stuff. I like trees with character, you know? I, I, want, I want trees doing stuff like this, coming off the sides of banks right over another tree's root system and, you know, fighting for its little bit of sunlight that it can get down in here. I like trees with this big old lean to them that's kind of, you know, fallen over the years but is essentially still hanging in there. I mean, look at that thing. It's way the fuck up there. And this is its base, you know? Whoa! Almost fell in a big old hole in the creek. I better pay attention to where I'm going instead of up there in the trees. But, yeah, we got little washes out in here. You got cool muscadines growing all along the way. I mean, they're doing their thing. <clears throat> Got some washout coming from on over this way. Once again, this is other stuff that I can one day paint a picture in here. For now, I'm going to leave everything as it is. Just because I've got lots of other shit I need to do. But well, before I start messing with all of this stuff, I actually kind of dig all of that. I mean, like this big ass fucking tree. I don't know if you see that one right in there. There's one tree on the side of it, or in the front of it, that looks about like this size. But you can see how big that motherfucker, that's part of it that's growing out that way. Then you got these little bullshits, but this tree is probably fucking 150, 200 years old. Let's walk over here and see if we can get a better, a better view of it. See, there's the other side of it. I mean... That thing is humongous. It'd be a shame to lose anything like that. And I've got a number of those kind of trees. I mean, just big, massive, 150-plus-year-old trees out here. Because this stuff has never been cut down. Um, it's essentially old-growth forest. This has just been left to do what it wants to do. And that's kind of cool, if you ask me. This is some good deer tracks where they've jumped over here just like I'm about to do because there's no real good spot other than over that thing through here so it's kind of nifty we're taking the same path see once again you got your deer tracks you also got your raccoons coming down here that may even be a beaver He's doing his stuff, and that's a waffles track right there. <laughs> we got some little fishes swimming. See, once again, this is a cool spot. Um, this actually is the very end of the V. So that field out there that I'm growing all of my plants in actually has a creek on either side of it. This is one of them and the other one is just on the other side of this. So all of this is the V, the little peninsula between the two. Right here is where the two creeks meet. What's happening buddy? Waffles! Whoa, I forgot that part is really deep. So this is the other creek. As you see, that's where we just came from. That's the back side. Now this is the bigger, bigger creek. But this one's not far behind it. I mean, it's a pretty good sized creek too. I just liked the landscape that I was dealing with over there opposed to this one. Now on the other side of this creek is gonna be all of my brother's, you know, stuff over there. He's gonna do his dream works. But um, we're actually, this creek is going to be the barrier for us for the most part. But for now, it's all flowing down here together. 
and it will actually make a deep pool right here so it gets super deep right here i was walking and i don't know probably ankle to uh calf deep water now i'm down to my crotch region and the interesting thing about this is where the two points come together it creates a turbulence okay so it digs out all of the sand and all the stuff and that's why it's deep right here but this is really the only spot that's that deep right now because just where the two meet it's creating a turbulence and pushing all of the sand out um, the vast majority of this is all sandy and it does have a lot of clams and oysters cool little like monster oysters and then little bitty clams sometimes I'll find where a uh, raccoon, you know, right here. Here's one of those little clams from one point that's uh, already been dead and gone. But I'll find a big pile of them where the raccoon will come and he'll, you know, find him some. And he'll open them up right here and eat all of the insides and just leave the shells there. It's kind of cool when you're running on a little adventure out here and you find stuff like that. I mean, I find all kind of different snakes and lizards and I don't know, just fun stuff to me, man. Once again, all through here is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now I can plant, I don't know, muscadimes and blueberries and apples and all kinds of goodies out there. All through here, um, starts becoming my brother, so pretty much leave all that stuff be he was pretty excited about this dam down here this is just out of my jurisdiction area so we'll let him do whatever he wants on on this but we uh, came out here last weekend and um, discovered this dam kind of added to it a little bit um, Obviously the water didn't rise too much. I put this stick in there and it's been hella dry We haven't gotten any rain yet, which is supposed to be tomorrow But as you see waffles is over there exploring the dam that is a beaver dam that he's on right now It's all broken up muddy and what have you as you see what they do is They'll cut trees down and shit from up there now the cool thing about doing stuff upstream is it whoop floats downstream so what he does is see he cut this tree down and see here he cut all the little side branches and he essentially gnawed all the bark off of this see in here where you can see where his tooth marks and then he cleaned this tree up just cut that all up then what he did is he tossed it into the water and instead of him doing the work dragging it down here, he just said whoop and let it float on down. Now, when he is all done up there doing his business, he'll come back here and find his trees that he let float down and he'll move them accordingly. Now what I did, I'm gonna leave this one alone because that was his tree that he uh, brought down here. But last weekend, I threw all these sticks in that I found from all over the place. There's a damn heap of them just piled up over in here. I guess where it washed out Hurricane Michael and it all, you can see kind of remnants of everything that was sitting here. But hell of stuff right here already. And I was like, well, shit, why didn't the beaver do something with these, you know? <laughs> so I brought all of them and started plugging up holes, plugging up holes all around this and building up higher. I stuck that big old stick, or is that a stick because it's the size of a tree? I don't know. Big ass log, if you will, across the uh, top there to kind of create a, um, I wanted it to be about as high as he was building that one. So I started putting that big old log up there and then filling in holes, filling in gaps. And that's all you really have to do when you're, when you're trying to help these beavers um they're gonna do all the hard work like see all this packing and mud and and what he did over in here this is amazing i'm not trying to do all that work he can come in here and to his heart's content like mud all this 
And I'm sure in the future I'm going to come down here and this is going to all be mudded up and all dammed up. And it's going to look just like that over there. And this is going to be essentially up to my, my belly here. It'll probably raise another foot and a half, two feet. All this right in here will be underwater. Um, probably right up to where Waffles is at. You know, it'll be about that high. All this will be under. But it's kind of exciting, you know. Back over there is the other side of the field that leads over to my father's. Once again, that'll be Spencer's, my brother's over there. So what he, you can kind of see the light coming through the field. What he's looking to do is kind of build a trail down in here and make this his little spot like I have over there. <clears throat> Essentially, that's what it was looking out to be last weekend. We came out here and had a good time. Had some barbecuing, good family time. I'm uh, looking forward to having my alone time this weekend now. Um, I'm out here just recharging, doing my own thing, hopefully hiding from anyone else. So once again, these guys right here are more beaver sticks that, I don't know, they just kind of floated on down here and got stuck here. I mean, see how big he's working with? This is a big ass stick, bro. We'll help him out. This water gets up pretty high. Now, once again, like I was saying, on the shores I find a bunch of these things. You know, these are the oysters I was talking about. And the critters will find them and they'll just sit on the banks here and have a fucking smorgasbord. Smorgasbord! Oh! There you go, buddy. But that is what I'm doing this weekend. I'm playing in the fucking creek, y'all. I'm going to uh, have a bunch of rain tomorrow, um, evidently, and uh, Sunday. So what I'm going to do is probably plant a last little bit of plants that I need to kind of move around or do anything with because they'll be um, hit with some heavy rains. <sighs> But other than that, I'm not going to do shit this weekend, dude. I'm just going to, I'm going to do this. So one cool thing I want to show you, this is, this is wild out here. Okay. This is all worm castings, worm castings. Just, I mean, this stuff right here is fucking amazing. Look at how black and squishy and just, that's good stuff. You guys, that's worm castings. All, I mean, this is just piles of worm castings. Now, you got all these ferns. All these ferns and just, well, I don't even know what this is. This is something cool, though. Um, some kind of wild lemongrass thing. It's not wild. Or it's not lemongrass. Let me see. No, it's not lemongrass, but it's something. Something pretty nifty. But it just, this, I, no one planted this shit. It's just growing. This is wild. This is old growth just wild and that's what I love about it. It wasn't cut down and made into a bunch of fucking pine tree orchards, you know what I mean? It's it's still what nature intended it to be. This stuff is essentially what it was like when our forefathers came to this this land. This is still wild and I appreciate that. I mean, there's a certain amount of energy that I feel when I'm when I'm in this creek, when I'm on this property. And the Native Americans thrived here. I mean, there's artifacts all over the place that I find sh shards of pottery and um, arrowheads and all kinds of little flint naps. I mean, I find those everywhere. We uh, used to find an ass load of arrowheads, even axids and all kinds of fucking just sweet stuff. But then um, we stopped, uh, stopped leasing the property out to be farmed. And the thing is, when they, when they till it up, that's when you're getting all of these things resurfaced, right? So we would get it all at that stage. Um, 
I'm not sure what this plant is. It's kind of kind of pretty little wild flowers though, just growing off the side of the creek. I dig it. I dig it back over the tree. Got to be careful with these knobbies because that'll stab you in the manly whatnots. Cool, fun stuff. So when this does rise up, um, you'll see the fish will have plenty of places to hide and have fun. All this water used to wash underneath there at one point in time. It used to be this high, about where Waffles is coming in right now. And you can see he's muddy and happy. He's doing his dog thing. Waffles, are you happies? Is he good boys? He loves beesing out here. Look at this handsome feller. So, oh, he's running away. He doesn't like me. I'm not going to mess up your web feller. He's got long, creepy legs. Some people would be like, ew, why are you looking at that thing? But I dig spiders. He's a part of nature, and I'm a part of him. What does that go to, Waffles? That goes to the other washes out over there. A lot of this back in here is lowland swamp area, so I'm hesitant to really do anything with any of that until I raise the creek and kind of see what's going to be underwater, you know what I mean? Um, I guess it's pretty safe to say that I can do stuff around those huge massive ass trees because they've been there for so long, they're obviously not going to get flooded out too much. but. I mean, what are you going to do underneath those huge, massive-ass fucking trees anyways? So, I don't know. I'm just... I'm working with my little spot over there. I didn't realize how hard it would be to, to keep up with just three, four acres on my own. You know, it's really tough keeping all of those trees going in times where it's not raining. You know, you kind of have to... Um, I don't have an irrigation system out here yet and I still haven't um, completed my earthwork system where I'm from the road you've got a, a lot of water that will wash down right down there to my uh, stone fruits and my blueberries and what I'm going to do is create a little bit longer of a swell there's already a natural swell that comes through there and actually all the water dumps into this creek and I need to I need to move the swell just a little bit through my my trees and what have you and that's something that is in the works in the near future once i do that it'll really change the landscape and how things work and how things thrive because the water will be more plentiful throughout there Ooh, i missed that snake i don't know exactly what kind it was because i just saw the last bit of them Come on, buddy. Hey, come over here. Come. Come. I don't know what's over there. Come. Come. Good boy. Yeah, I don't know what that was, buddy. So I don't want you over there. Once again, howl worm castings. They really dig these out spots, outcroppings of mud that's right there by the creek. You see over there, I got little palmettos wild palmettos you see a lot of that up there in the carolinas they've got all them palmettos out in the middle of the fucking woods but i've got a few of them out here too all kinds of cool little plantas i love the plantas this is a little bitty poplar tree you guys see this that's your poplar tree um, tulip poplar it gives you these these little flowers. So this is a just a petal obviously. It's kind of dry um, They're not real, you know awesome But see these little petals They're They're still a cool little tulip that comes in the tree. Where's uh? Like this this up here Those are tulip poplars They'll make uh, those pretty little flowers, but that's a little baby it's a little baby one. 
all my cool ferns doing their thing. I mean, I love the ferns. Ferns are actually one of the um, earliest settler plants. Evidently, they've been around, you know, well, well before the times of the dinosaurs. Ferns were some of our very first plant life to start uh, start growing in the forest domain. And I've got a bunch of bunch of them out here. I like them. I want to promote as much of that as I can. I mean, they're good shade um, plants. I was about to say shade trees, but obviously they're not a tree, but they grow very good in these canopy settings. Same things with stuff like this. Um, you see a lot of, what are those, um, hostess, uh, hostess um, leaf uh, plants that people will plant in the, uh, the shady areas. But you've got a lot of this wild stuff that is just gorgeous. And I try to incorporate that as much as I can into my food forest. To what I'm doing on this property. Because it's already growing plentiful and it's thriving and it's lovely and I like it. Doesn't necessarily need to feed me or do anything other than just make everything in nature happy. So some plants are for me, and some plants are for the plants, and some plants are just for the critters that help the plants, and some plants are just because they were here first. You know, there's not a whole lot of plants that I really want to eradicate on this property. Um, the wait a minutes are probably one of those plants. I want to eradicate those. I want to eradicate red ants. I don't want any red ants or gnats or ticks. Those can all go away. Um, maybe some gum trees. I don't really want gum trees. A few of them here and there aren't going to bother anybody. But this kind of shit, we, we can't have no fucking gum trees all over the place. I don't want gum trees. So, that's about all I really want eradicated here. But for the most part, I'm working with what I have already. This in here, so all this is going to be flooded to the, about this level. So I'm going to be about chest high. And this is all going to be underwater. So this is the old irrigation ditch. And around here is what I've got it cleared out essentially. So this is going to be my focal point. Ouch, over in here. For now, it's kind of like the, 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 I don't know, the, the sand bed where the nieces, nephews, and younger sisters come to play. It's a fun little spot right here at the creek. Um, obviously, this is where I come to do my thing. The fishes are plentiful here. This is about where we had it all flooded out, and we would come and fish and play and have fun as kids now i come and play and have fun as an adult but i'm under the impression kids need to do that kind of stuff still they need to have an imagination they need to go and play and do fun stuff and, and look at here here's a a crawdad oh he's actually in the process no maybe he died i was gonna say maybe yeah, he's dead. This one, I was thinking, may have just been um, changing his shell because what they do is they have an exoskeleton, okay? And they grow too big for it. So over time, you'll see these shells around here laying around. And it's because they outgrow them and then they start um, shedding them. And that little point in time, they're at their most vulnerable. They're super soft. So anything can come around and dump, just eat the hell out of it. But that one, something got him. Oh, all right. Avocado plant doing their thing. Lovely new growth. This is what I like to see. I like to see the new growth. Then you know that the plant's doing what it needs to do. 
Um, sometimes you'll see these unhappy leaves, but that's just because they get old and, you know, it's time for them to go away and time for this new growth to come in and, and make room be happies. I hope you enjoyed the uh, tour of the creek. I need to tend to some ducks. I need to get them a little bit of water out of the creek, as you see right there. Got my my Indian runner duck mix. Um, as you see, Waffles is cool with with them being around. But um, I've got my bunches of chickens. I got nine chickens and ten ducks, and they're happy. Check them out. Let's see if we can get them down there to the creek. Hey, you guys, come on, let's go to the creek. Hooray, go into the creek's time. If you notice, they've got little green and blue on their wings. It's pretty cool if you ask me. All right, come on, guys. All of them are pretty much some kind of Indian runner duck breed, except for the one with the little crown. Um, that one, I think uh, it's a she, and she's like more more of a normal walking duck, so she's some kind of peeking. See how these ones all stand up straight, and how she's still kind of just waddling and doing her normal duck thing? Well, that's, uh, that's the only one that I have out of these 10 ducks that aren't some kind of, you know, Indian runner duck style. They, all, they like coming to this mud pit rather than the creek. I don't entirely understand it, but they tend to like this better than splashing around in the water for right now. I don't understand it. But whatever they want to do makes them happy. This is Brian, peacing out.